Hi, and welcome to another edition of Friendly Plastic TV. I'm Linda Peterson of Linda Peterson Designs. Well, springtime is here, and it's time for the flowers to start blooming. So in today's episode, I'm going to create a beautiful springtime pendant with Friendly Plastic strips and pellets using the inlay technique. So, are you ready to get started? Let's go! For this project, we'll be using a plain white strip of Friendly Plastic. You can see that I've cut a piece here from um, the strip, and I'm just going to place it onto my griddle. My griddle is set to just under 200 degrees, and you're also going to melt some pellets in the water. Now, I've already pre-melted pellets, and I have also mixed in a little dab of this pink mica powder. It makes it a nice shiny pink. So. What we'll do here is we'll flatten this out with our fingers. We'll lay it down on our mat. You could also use a pasta machine set to about a number three setting or a medium setting. Roll this flat and then use your uh, teardrop cutter. This is a clay cutter and cut out five petals. Now I have my pan with my softened plastic right here and I'm going to arrange these petals onto the softened plastic to form a flower. It's okay if you get little depressions in there, um, they'll melt out. All right, and now you're going to set this piece, there we go, you're going to set this piece back on your griddle and let that melt. That will inlay that petal into the white plastic and make it one solid piece. While your plastic is melting together, prepare your palette with alcohol ink and allow all the alcohol to evaporate so that they're dry. I've also got a little container here. This is filled with uh, rubbing alcohol. I've got a very small um, pointed round liner brush. I have a needle tool and I have a little bit of white acrylic paint. Now that my plastic has melted and it's still soft, I can elongate these petals with my needle tool and pull them towards the center to create more of the petal shape if, if you want. Pat the center down. You can also, if you want to add a little tip or a little bit of dimension to your petals, you can do the same thing with the outside of the petal. Now we're going to add the details using our alcohol inks and our liner brush. So I'm going to dip my liner brush into the rubbing alcohol. This ink here, this is Wild Plum, and I'm going to add some accents starting from the inside of the petal and just drawing little wavy lines, highlighting the petal all the way around. Now I'll use a little bit of purple, I'll use a little bit of blue, whatever color you want your petal to be. And then if you want to, you can take a little bit of acrylic paint, this little white paint that I'm using out of the uh, lid, and you can add some little white petal accents there as well. When you get finished, it should look something like this one here. Now on this one here, I've added a little bit of, of gold leafing pin to kind of highlight it. All right, my plastic is now melted and it's still on my nonstick sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my frame here and I'm going to line it up over the flower and I'm going to press it down. If you need to, you can use uh, the back of your paintbrush to do that. Oops. And once you have your frame inlaid, then pick it up and place it in cold water to cool. Okay, now that this is cool, what you want to do is you want to pop out your frame, and then you'll have an edge here that you're simply going to cut out. So cut it out right along that edge. And remember, none of the plastic goes to waste. We'll use this other plastic and leftover plastic in other projects.
trim it up here a little bit and there now you'll be able to pop it back into your frame so that it looks like this one on this one here I've added a little crystal while it was melted I forgot to do that on this one but what I want to do now is I want to finish the back and I actually want to add another little loop down here so that I can hang some chain off of so let me show you how I finish the back off with pewter this is a little piece of art embossed pewter that I have cut off of a big sheet and here's my pendant with the red liner tape on it I've applied double stick tape off the back I'm gonna pull off the liner and I made this little um, piece of wire here with a little loop at the end that I'm going to match up in the center and I'm going to apply it right down over my double stick tape and then I'll line this edge up with one of the edges on my pewter I'll set this down on the pewter and I'm going to cut this out flush Oops. press it down real good on the back and cut this out so that it's flush Okay, turn it over onto the back and you can use a paintbrush or a pencil, a wooden stylus just to smooth these edges down over the back. Burnish the pewter down onto the back of the pendant over the wire. Make it nice and smooth. You can even dull the edges a little bit as well. Now on this pendant here I've applied some clear casting resin and I've let it set for 24 hours so you can do that if you want a glossy uh, shiny appearance. I've already prepared the chain and so now what I'll do is I'll just take and I'll attach a jump ring to this loop here and I've got a little piece of chain that I'm going to attach down here and you'll have your pendant. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Friendly Plastic TV. Remember, you can get this project along with a lot of other ideas on our website at www.amico.com and visit us on our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. Well, that'll do it for this episode. I'm Linda Peterson, and I hope to see you again on another episode of Friendly Plastic TV.